Dear friends, um, <coughs> here I am going to explain the significance of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle through the dreams of Mr. Tom King. It's the title character in a series of four popular science books by the physicist George Gamow. The books are structured as a series of dreams in which Mr. Tom King enters an alternative world where the physical constants have radically different values from those they have in the real world. So let us discuss Heisenberg's uncertainty principle through the dreams of Mr. Tomkin. He is a title character in Gamma's popular science books and his dreams. He is also teaching quantum mechanics and he told him to put the value of constant h divided by 4 pi equal to 1. And he takes a billiard ball having mass m equal to 1 kilogram. He put this billiard ball on the center of a wooden triangle. So now this billiard ball is restricted to move in x direction as well as in y direction. Okay. So in x direction the billiard ball is restricted to move in a distance 0.3 meter that is we can take delta x as 0.3 meter we can find out the momentum delta p equal to actually the uncertain relation is delta x delta p greater than or equal to h cross h h divided by 4 pi <laughs> so we are considering a minimum uncertainty that's why we have taken this equal equal sign so delta p equal to h divided by 4 pi delta x that is equal to h by 4 pi the value of h by 4 pi we have taken this is equal to 1 so we will get 1 divided by 0.3 equal to 3.33 the um, unit of momentum is kilogram meter per second so the momentum is uh, mass into velocity that is equal to 3.3 kilogram meter per second and we have taken mass m equal to 1 so we will get we will get delta v equal to 3.3 meter per second this 3.3 meter per second is roughly is roughly 10 kilometer per hour okay that means the billiard ball must adopt a speed very uncertain of the order of 3 meter per second that is 10 kilometer per hour so the moment processor put this wooden triangle over this billiard ball the billiard ball starts to move it move all wild directions that is the result of heisenberg's heisenberg's uncertainty <coughs> principle Actually, because the billiard ball is now constrained in its position, the price you pay for it is large momentum, large delta p. So, if you restrict the position as delta x is, is small, then the delta p becomes very large and the object starts to move. So, this object this object in this wooden triangle that is billiard ball starts to move wildly in all direction because it is restricted in its position okay this is the result of or uh, this is the physical significance of heisenberg's uncertainty relation and in his dreams mr tomkin asks his professor uh, can we stop it and the professor replies no it's impossible to stop it any body in an enclosed space persists a certain motion and physicists called it, uh, it as zero point motion such as the electron moves in an atom let us come to reality that is actually already we have taken we have taken the value of h divided by 4 pi equal to 1 now we are going to take the real value of h divided by 4 pi that is equal to 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 divided by 4 into 3.14 uh, 
is approximately equal to is roughly equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 35. I am not taking the precise value because we need to just understand the concept. That's why I am taking the value of h divided by 4 pi is approximately or roughly equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 35. Okay, so we can find out the momentum. We can find out the momentum delta p equal to h divided by 4 pi into delta x that is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 35 divided by 0 0.3. Okay, that will get is approximately equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 34 kilogram meter per second and we can find out the velocity from it delta v equal to 1.6 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 34 meter per second this value is important we have taken the real value of h divided by 4 pi so we got delta v equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 34 meter in one second the velocity of the billiard ball is 1 point really the velocity of the billiard ball is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 34 meter per second that means in 10 billion years 10 billion years the billiard ball moves a distance of 1 by 20th size of a proton okay 10 billion years means 1000 crore years. In 1000 crore years, this billiard ball moves a distance 1 by 20th size of size of a proton. Proton. That means in our daily life experience, in our daily life experience, the quantum mechanics doesn't have any effect because in 10 billion years, the distance of 1 by 20th size of a proton is is um, is meaningless now we go to hydrogen atom <coughs> hydrogen atom consists of one electron the mass of one electron mass of one electron roughly we are taking 10 raised to minus 30 kilogram and the size of the hydrogen atom size of the hydrogen atom this is size of the hydrogen atom delta x equal to 10 raised to minus minus 10 meter 10 raised to minus 10 meter that means in x direction it can move it can move 10 raised to minus 10 meter this electron can move minus 10 meter okay 10 raised to minus 10 meter and we can find out the momentum that is delta p equal to h divided by 4 pi delta x h divided by 4 pi delta x okay that is equal to already we have found or uh, the value of h divided by 4 pi that is 5 into 10 raised to minus 35 divided by delta x is 10 raised to minus 10 okay this is equal to this is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 25 so this momentum is mass into delta v velocity that is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 25 and delta v equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 25 divided by mass is mass is 10 raised to minus 30 kilogram and we will get this is equal to <coughs> this is equal to 5 into 10 raised to 5 meter per second 5 into 10 raised to 5 meter per second means this is 500 kilometer kilometer per second okay that says that when an electron is constrained when an electron is constrained in an atom okay it starts to move we have already proved it we have taken we have uh, taken a wooden triangle and a billiard ball is placed over it and we understood if we are taking h divided the value of h divided by 4 pi equal to 1 um, uh, this billiard ball starts to move okay billiard ball is a massive particle it has a mass of 1 kilogram uh, and in in reality it doesn't make any sense that's why we are taking a real case that's electron is constrained uh, in an atom that's a real case and the mass of the electron is very small it's a micro particle and uh, quantum mechanics is basically quantum mechanics is studying about micro particles and the value of mass of the electron is raised to minus 30 kilogram this is a micro particle and this is constrained in an atom so if this is constrained in an atom it moves a velocity of 500 kilometer 
per second. Now we can understand why the electron is moving in an atom around a nucleus. This is only because of Heisenberg's uncertainty relation. This is a wonderful uh, result. This is the this is explaining Heisenberg's uh, actually uh, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle says that uh, the electron have to move. Who will give the energy? The Heisenberg's uncertainty principle will give the energy. Okay, so whenever a particle is constrained in a in a small space, the particle starts to move. Okay, that is the result of that is the wonderful result of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, and we can understand the important factor that an electron is moving in an atom. Why an electron is moving in an atom? That electron is moving with around roughly 500 km per second because of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Okay, look at this. This is my study table. Okay. Actually, we have learned that around 99.99 percentage of the atom is vacant. It's empty. Okay, this table is made up of atoms. So the 99 percentage of this table is also vacant. Still, I cannot pass my finger through this table. I feel this as a solid thing. Okay, why this happens? Let's take an example of a table fan. I put a spot with a marker here. The length of the leaf is around 20 centimeters. That is 0.2 meter. Uh, I didn't on this. I didn't uh, put on this fan. Now this is in off state. So there are many vacant spaces here in between the leaves i can pass a pen or i can pass a uh, pass my finger through this vacant spaces but after putting on this fan okay after putting on this fan speed of this fan is maximum speed of the available fans are 1400 rotation per minute that means in a minute this spot will rotate around 100 1400 times that means each particle or uh, I put a spot here the speed of this spot is around 29 meter in one second okay speed of this particle is speed of the solid portion is around 29 meter in one second after putting on this fan still we cannot pass our finger or pen through the vacant spaces of the table fan. The vacant spaces are there, still the vacant spaces are there, but we will not be able to pass our finger or uh, pass the pen through the vacant spaces. Okay, this is a very low speed as compared to an electron. An electron is moving with 5 lakh meter in one second. Okay. This is 29 meter in one second and speed of an electron is 5 lakh meter in one second. So I hope now you understood why the materials feel solid even if 99.99% of the atoms and the materials are vacant.